morning, everybody. It's headed to work time. So yesterday, it was so frustrating, you know, at work. It's, it's, you know, some of you guys, you got jobs that you love your job, you look forward to going to work, and then other people, you know, I have friends that's that they're like dread going to work. Every day they be like, ugh, I'm back in this place again. And then they look um, at the clock constantly because they can't wait to leave. And I'm, I happen to be in a field that I love because I love helping people. I love, you know, um, making sure folks, you know, get into their homes and, and you know, um, they overcome being homeless and different things like that. So I look forward to going to work every day. But I just can't stand going to a job where people are just slime, slick. You know, they 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 try to do any and everything that they can to try to make you look bad and it doesn't make any sense when you're all in a field where everybody is supposed to work together as a team but then you always got that one or two people that no matter what they ain't trying to be part of the team so that's what I don't like and in the beginning of this job I loved going to work love going to work love helping people the girl that started there she didn't know anything about property management she didn't know anything about leasing i tried to help her as much as i could but now every time i turn around i see how slick and conniving you know she is every chance she gets she'll change my name from a client and put her name there um you know my people come in, if they come in five minutes early or ten minutes or I could be in the bathroom, I could be just coming back from lunch, and she'll go and take my people instead of saying, oh, Gina will be back in five minutes. Like, slick stuff like that. I just don't, I don't like it. And so, it makes me, you know, not want to be at that job, at that office. I no longer look forward to come into work when you know when people are being you know slimy I gotta go get my ice guys y'all already know oh I think I got I know I think I got a free one out of here Give me one second I'll be right back
everybody. Now it's time to head into this office that I can't wait. <laughs> that I can't wait to leave. It gets to the point that just literally, probably about the past couple of weeks, it has gotten to the point to where I I don't even want to be up in this place. And you could see, you could see the, the, the favoritism, you could see uh, the messiness, and I'm just all about just being fair. Like, no matter what you do, no matter how, just be, just be fair. You know, you, you don't gotta like me. You don't gotta love me. Just, just be fair. Just be fair with me. And, and, you know, and that goes for everybody that's in there. So I just sit back and I watch. And I don't say anything, you know, I'm quiet. I just watch and pay attention. I do my job. You know, I'm there. I got a job to do. I do my job. And once I do my job, I clock out, head home, and get prepared and get ready, you know, to do it again uh, the next day. What I don't do is I don't take from anybody. I don't um, try to outshine anybody. I try to be as helpful as I can to everybody. And my work shows it with the people that I work with because they, in every place that I've ever worked, every company that I've ever went to has always said, Gina, you need to keep Gina. Like Gina is amazing. Like, you know, Gina is the person, you know, she makes you feel wonderful you know, coming up in there. I try to make everybody, all of the clients, you know, feel comfortable. I try I try to go up and beyond to take care of their needs and their wants for their new home. So it is, oh, I feel so bad that they're still on strike. Um, so, and I try to be fair um, to everybody. And even when I can't, you know, help them if if our community isn't a fit for them for whatever reason because they can't afford it, it's out of their budget or anything. I try to, you know, go above and beyond and give them, a, a, a point them in a direction toward other community or somewhere where it would be, you know, beneficial, um, to them where it would be more affordable you know to them so again yesterday um the, the my clients my appointment that i had the lady said that they were early i think she said she she sent me a message because i sent her a message to see if she a follow-up to see if she was still coming because of the storm and I knew that sometimes people cancel when the, when the rain, when the weather changes. And so I sent her, I called her, left her a voicemail, sent her an email and a te text message asking her, you know, she still was she still coming? And if she wasn't still going to come, um, did she need to reschedule to let me know? She never responded. She never responded to any of my messages. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe she's not going to come. Well, anyway, she came. She got there about maybe 15 minutes early. After she did the tour and everything, when old girl, instead of old girl telling her, oh, your appointment's at two, um, Gina will be back, you know, at two. She went on and took her. She's quick to do, do that, really quick. She went on and took her. And see, my thing is you never win when you're dirty. You never win when you're dirty. If people came in, if she, someone started with her, I would always say, who was your appointment with? Or who did you start it out with? And if they said her, I wouldn't take them. 
That's just out of respect. I'm not going to snatch your commission. I'm going to be fair about it. But do she be fair to me? Oh, no, honey. She will snatch it up in a heartbeat. So, and that's what it is that, you know, I don't like. My last three commissions where the, my clients have came in early, five to ten minutes early or whatever, instead of her saying your appointment's at two or your appointment's at one, um, just wait for Gina. No, she'll go in there and she'll just snatch it right up, which is, you know, what it is that I don't like. And um, so she did that. She did again yesterday and I'm just like it's enough money for everybody to be made to make just it, everybody could be fair you don't have to go and take somebody else's clients you don't have to take someone else's commission it is it's enough for everybody be fair. do unto others as they do unto you but of course we know in this real world in the real world, folks is going to be greedy as hell. And they're going to do, you know, whatever it is that they want to do. And I just don't, if I, I was just like, okay, this is the game you want to play. Okay, we can play this game. You know, I could do the same thing to you. But I don't mean, it just don't sit right with me to do a tit for tat thing. If I'm not happy with some some place if I'm not happy where I'm at I'm not gonna stay I'm not gonna stay and I'm not gonna stay here and deal with mess you know deal with the mess cuz I see the mess I said, believe you me I see the mess I feel the mess you know and I'm just not mm -mm, I'm just not gonna deal with that so I had a few other, actually, two other companies contacted me yesterday, and they, one of them has really, really been bugging me, really been bugging me for about the past month. They want me to be with them, to come and work for them so bad, they offered me more money and everything, and so I'm really thinking about taking them up on their offer. Um, the only thing that I don't like, which is because it's not as close to my house as like this job in my last job. The last job that I had, it literally minutes from my house, literally eight minutes. Like if I was running late or something, I would be no more than 10 minutes late, eight to 10 minutes late. This one right here that I'm going to now is like. 25 to 30 minutes depending on the traffic sometimes I get there in 20 minutes when it's not any traffic so um, which is still pretty close because you don't want to be any more than 30 minutes away from your house because if traffic if the weather is bad and all that stuff it would take you no longer than you know an hour or so to get to get back home so I like that but the other place is, um, I think it's about maybe a 45 minute drive, 50 minute drive. Um, so that's the only thing, but it pays more money. So I'm looking at that. And um, and um, the second job that called that, um, called me they're a little bit closer i think it is around in the same price range that i'm already getting paid and um uh, they you know heard know about you know my reputation in the real estate business and everything and so um they wanted to you know they want me to come in for an interview um as well so, with them two, and then there's, a, you know, a few more that, actually, my old job, 
the other job that I did, the manager, she wants me so bad. Every time I go and see, because I go and visit them, and it's still out here, so it would be still the same amount of, 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 of time. It would be uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to get there. And I went to visit, I went to visit them, everybody there, on Monday. And they were all like, everybody was so happy to see me and they and the first thing that they all asked everybody asked the same thing Gina how you like it over there is is everything good over there and the manager there she's like I okay I told you when you ready come over here like we're ready for you so I that's where I like to be because I am so familiar with everybody I work I think it's maybe two or three, they got another new girl um, that just in there. And um, she, um, when I went there, she didn't know who I was. And everybody else knew. And I was like, oh, I just came to visit. And she thought I was, I was coming as a client. But, <coughs> sorry. But I was coming to visit everybody and um they i think um one of the other girls that i knew said that she had been with them she had been with them a couple of weeks or whatever she was a friend of one of, of one of the assistant managers and that's how she got um in there so but everybody else there i know really well maintenance i know maintenance they my ace coon boom um i know all of them very very well the maintenance been there forever for the longest they they was there back when i was hired for that company uh the first time uh three years ago so i know them all very well um the assistant manager i know her very well she was there back then um the manager manager that's there um i like her she's very cool um she's relatable she's someone that you can go and talk to and she's i, I like that she's someone that she likes to help the others she she's the type that she will work with you and that's what it is i like so yeah where i'm at now i don't think i'm I'm not going to be there too, definitely not going to be here too much longer. Um, I'll probably be you putting in a notice here soon because I just can't do it. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to just talk about that, get that off my chest. You know, it's ready. It's better for you to just brother. Ferran's gonna go with her, and I'm gonna send an Uber for them, and go. And then when I get off work, as soon as I get off work, I'm going to leave, and I'm gonna go and pick them up. That's how we go. Because otherwise, they're not, you know, they're not going to have anyone there to, um, to pick. So, I'll probably have to leave, like, about 4.30, uh, and then I can just go and pick them up. But, um, I don't know, Angel said she was going to be, like, talking to her teachers, finding out where her classes are and all that stuff. So, I'll call her then. And then um, see what time it is that I need to go and pick her up. But she's very excited about today is her freshman orientation. And that she's going to be in high school. So she's very excited about that. I, look, I'm happy too. I'm just happy that all three of them are going to be back together again. That's, that's my main thing. That all of them is, are going to be together again. They can all watch out for each other. And, um, 
I don't have to worry about, okay, let me call and make sure Angel's home. Let me call and make sure the twins made it home. You know, text me when you guys have walked through the door. Because all three of them are going to be together again. So, that's what it, I'm, I'm going to be about that. Well, anyway, guys, I am almost pulling up at the gig. <laughs> I'm so happy. I couldn't wait to get here. Now, I just don't like being just sad and just unhappy with going to work. I just love going to jobs that appreciate me and that I appreciate them. And I just don't feel appreciated here, you know, anymore. So I look forward to, to come work here anymore. And so it makes me feel sad because in the beginning, I couldn't wait to get here. So, well, anyway, we'll talk again. Peace, God bless, and talk to for now. Y'all have a wonderful, positive weekend. Okay?